Hi, Taurus. This will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Taurus, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you, or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Clarify the two of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the two of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the two of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the nine of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. You can tell me that you're feeling smug or overindulging trying to numb out. Now, Taurus, you can tell me that, you know, you're debating on whether or not this is your wish, whatever this may be. <laughs> Taurus, you can tell me, I hope it's not your wish that you want to juggle. Mm -hmm. Taurus, you can tell me that you're overindulging trying to numb out because someone was juggling your partner. Taurus, you have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Taurus could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this queen of cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the queen of cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the queen of cups for Taurus. Clarify the queen of cups for Taurus. Clarify the queen of cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Taurus, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. And Taurus, listen, you can tell me that maybe you're meditating on someone that you have some love for, Taurus. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you're debating on whether or not to go for it. This person is your wish. Taurus, you could also tell me that you're searching your emotions and using your intuition. You're on a break from this person because you could have discovered that they were juggling. Taurus, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit 
for Taurus. It is clarified with the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Taurus could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Taurus, clarify the chariot. For Taurus, clarify the chariot. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snob remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Taurus, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now, Taurus, you can tell me you're thinking long and hard about something. You know, you could be determined to move forward, Taurus, or to make a move here. Taurus, you could also tell me that you thought you're thinking about things here. And because of the mind games manipulation, that you're wanting to just move forward. And when I say mind games manipulation, you can tell me that you're discovering that this person was juggling the whole time. Taurus, you have the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. <clears throat> Sorry. Let me drink up some water, Taurus. Uh-uh. <coughs> 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 Out of the blue, so itchy, child. Out of the blue. Eight of Wands, Aries, Leora, Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Taurus, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the eight of wands for Taurus. Clarify the eight of wands for Taurus. Clarify the eight of wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Taurus. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. 
So Taurus, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You know, Taurus, you can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light, and it changed everything between you guys. Did something happen while traveling? Taurus, you can tell me that I don't know, something may be at a distance that you want to get to that may be your wish. Hmm. Taurus, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed because something was illuminated. You could have you can tell me that you discovered that they were communicating passionately online with someone else and being intimate with someone else. Or you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument and you're just wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. I don't see any type of an apology here. Something is going on. Taurus, you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leora Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by Benny. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational, it's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Taurus, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Now Taurus, you can tell me that you're indecisive about, uh, really? indecisive about confronting this person. Because something is coming to light here, Taurus. Either you are discovering that they were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else, or this happened while traveling, something while traveling. Taurus, you could tell me that you are confronting this person and then you're blocking them. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Taurus. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, commitment, long-term relationship. Commitment, long-term relationship. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? And it says, settlement, agreement, compromise. Settlement, agreement, compromise. Oh, agreement, settlement, compromise, long-term relationship. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus, this will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.